VGR. Hello and welcome. My name is Nate from Video Games Recon, and in this video, we're going to be playing The Order 1886. If you're watching this on Video Games Recon, this will be a mashup video of the first, I don't know, say, three ish hours of gameplay. If you're watching this on my new channel, Video Games Extra, it will be a, well, VGR Extra, it, it's called, or whatever, but it stands, it's an acronym for Video Games Recon. Anyway, uh, that will be like a full playthrough. Basically, I've decided to start a new channel. I'm going to do a video, a channel update, discussing this in further detail in the coming days. But basically, I've decided to put my full playthroughs on a separate channel, mainly due to things like copyright and also to try and increase the, well, lower the amount of production I have to put into them so I can put them out like a lot quicker and a lot easier. So on my normal channel, my regular channel, Video Games Recon, I can focus on higher production value things like my top tens and I've got some other, another video that I'm piloting and uh, stuff like that. I'll still be doing mashups of uh, games and maybe like features of some of my games in my Steam library and whatnot. But yeah, basically that's going to be mostly high production stuff. And on my other one there'll be a full playthrough. There'll be a link somewhere either in the description or on screen uh, to my second channel. And um, yeah, so without any further ado and uh, <laughs> any more long intros, let's get into it shall we? I've not played this at all. I've not even tried out the buttons or anything so I, I'll be like Bambi in the woods not knowing what's going on. Uh, all wobbly legged and whatnot. But um, yeah, also I'm going to try and take my time a little bit with it. Normally with playthroughs I sort of push through a little bit to keep the pacing for people watching. But I'm going to try and take my time a little bit on this because everybody's heard about how short this game is supposed to be for, which is basically just a single player, no multiplayer. So yeah, I'm going to be taking my time. Not too long, but you know, I want to have a good look about and get my money's worth. So Okay, so let's get into it, shall we? Like I said, I've never played any of this, not even, uh, you know, tried it out, so going to be figuring out as I go along. Right, I don't know why you need to save at the start of it, that's a bit weird. You get this cool little thing that comes in the box that just tells you all the uh, buttons and whatnot, but that's about it. Presumably we're being waterboarded. Wake up, Fred. Hey. <coughs> Hard. Giving up the ghost. Let's see another rant. Hmm. <laughs> this is where Guantanamo Bay got their notes from, is it? Back in the day. What's all this about? Come on. Come back and have another go later. <laughs> Will we now? <clears throat> Not if I escape and tear you a new a hole, mate. Okay. Are those black borders going to be throughout the whole game? Is that? I'm not sure if that's annoying or not. Oh, come on, so. Pick it up. The subtitles aren't very big either. Hopefully the sound levels will be okay. So am I one of the main characters? Aren't I supposed to be on the 
establishment side, they're soldiers, so... <laughs> it's not going to be a golden shower, is it? Okay, I think that's one of the main characters. It's a Galahad or whatever. Maybe this is. This right. One so nice. going to last much longer. Maybe this is in the future. Or something. Come on now. The and then the whole game is going to be like a flashback or something. <laughs> oh, back to this old chestnut, is it? A bit more waterboarding. Here we go again. Don't they know you don't get reliable information from torture? About ready. These things take time. Put back oh, I bet there's going to be quick time events in there. I'm not a fan of quick time events, but let's see how they do it in this, because I know it's going to be a big part of the game. I can do oh, are you That's right. Oh, have that. <laughs> oh, shit. Not tapping. Come on. That's right, mate. I knew you'd be getting your comeuppance. Yeah, like I said, not a fan of quick time events, so it's going to be interesting to see whether they can do this without it irritating me. Oh, what? I don't get it. Press and hold triangle when this prompted. Oh, hold, okay. Get looking around, you know, I don't need that. Yes. Walk. Is he gonna not get any weapons? Hmm. <laughs> He's in slightly a precarious position there, is he not? Hmm. I think I'll refrain from bumming him, but you know. I heard just this once. Maybe next time. Right, is there not gonna be any goodies around here? He is walking all cumbersome. I presume this is because he's all messed up. It does look nice. I will give it that. It does have a certain graphical fidelity. Press L3. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> God, he is, he's so awkward when he gets into a spot with a wall and what and that. Oh. He's having a right epic bit. He, he's a, oh, come on. What's that? A weapon? Something? Oh, I forgot a sneak. Right, let's just get whatever that is. Oh, it's a gun. Sweet. Use... What? That's weird. <laughs> so you can look at your object. Hmm, okay. It's interesting. An interesting decision there. Just my look. Ain't there bullets on the floor? We'll just do a stick up, they don't know, we'll bluff. Are they not bullets there, empty K 
casings or something. We'll just do a sticker, they don't know. They don't know there ain't bullets in it. We'll just bluff them. What's this malarkey? Is it, can I go in other ways or do I have to follow the path? I know it's not an open world game, but I'd imagine there'd be secrets and whatnot. Right, let's just carry on for now. I'm not sure this is the wisest move. I'd have just gone and done a stick up on one of the guards. Actually got some useful equipment. Right, X to climb. Crawl slide. He has just had the crap kicked out of him, so I'll let it slide. Some weird noises coming in the back. Wait, push on the left and press circle to move. Right, another piece of cover. Yeah, some weird noises in the background, man. Are we going to see one of those lichens? What should you do? Shoot it with a silver bullet, mate. Come on, seriously. I know you don't have movies back then, but... Come on, it must be in books or something. I wonder if these prompts are going to come all the time, because i got a feeling I'm going to forget them next time there's a cutscene. Hands up. See, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. It's a stick-up. Right, Press and hold L2. Oh, I hate that. I like him on L1. Right, move towards the dude. Not a word. He's, I gotta watch him. He's gonna. He's gonna. Uh, Inside. Close him. I thought he was gonna disarm me. Let's just talk this through, shall we? Yeah. Right. Look at the mistake of me from your treatment. I don't think that's going to be on me. Convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. You should crack him on the head. He's walking dead. That's what you are. Yeah. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's your funeral, not mine. Knock him out. You don't need to be hearing this nonsense. He's going to jump you in a minute. See, I should be getting to, to make decisions. He has a gun! See? If you'd have knocked him out, you'd have had none of this. Oh. Wow. Collateral damage is not an issue. Why are you still fighting your own mates to shot you? Oh what? He got it off me. I press, maybe I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> it's, it's a bit hard to see what's going on. Okay, what's this? What? What? Fucking out. Trying to figure all this out in a split second is a bit tricky. See, if you'd have just knocked him out a minute ago, you would have saved all this rigmarole. Now you're probably going to kill him. Which is potentially unnecessary. I mean, he might be a douchebag, but... Yeah, what were his mates Give doing? Up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Yeah, I think not. <laughs> it's 
So he's definitely one of the other characters. What's what's his story? What's going on there? Okay, well we want to get out of it, don't we? we don't want to dick about. No point in that. Hands where I can see them. The players over got a hat. Surrender yourself. Yeah, Thank I think not. Now. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. Raise your hands. But to be kept in captivity and tortured. Hands up. Fuck that. Gray. Don't do this. I said surrender. Hands on your head. What's you going? Have betrayed our order. No one may escape the penalty. I don't know if I even did that right. You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Oh, if there was water there, I'd have just got on with that a minute ago. What? Seriously. Too much faffing. If they're going to do a story game, they should literally give you one where you can make the decisions whenever you want, however you want. I mean, obviously, there's certain going to be certain limitations because of, like, developing a game like that would be a nightmare, but... Galahad, come in. I wouldn't have sit and listened to a lot of that noise. Yeah, so Galahad, this is in the future, I think. I read you, Percival. And this is way back when. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation that multiple marks of Grosvenor Square. So ba basically, this is like an alternative history. Because obviously back then we didn't have radio and whatnot, so... And airships. Okay, so are we in? Look around. You don't... You, with everything just coming out, you don't really get a time to... Like, you know... Be interested in the... Well, to notice the... The, you know, the graphics of it all and stuff. Which is the major... One of the major selling points of this game, isn't it? Like how... You know, how it can seamlessly go from a cutscene to graphics. And it does look good. I don't know if that will come across on YouTube, but... Yeah, it is pretty... Pretty, pretty. Sure is pretty. Pushing the limits of the PlayStation and whatnot. Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nikola provide you with armament? Huh. Nikola yes. Tesla? Essex M2 Falchion. Good. Looks like a BAR. Secondary ordnance should help. <laughs> this weird gun thing's a bit odd, isn't it? Let's see if I can do a dance. Beow, beow, beow. Maybe oh. pursuing bedlamites, but they remain civilian. Spoiling my fun. Non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to trying to do some. I'll find you afterwards. Trying to do some popping and locking. Got that out. Cut me off. Seriously. Right. Okay, cool. Finally, I can like get about and whatnot. Yeah, it does look good actually. When you fully get the moment to control it, that's, you can sort of appreciate it now. It does look nice. I don't. I've got a feeling it's probably not going to come across this nice on YouTube. But even if you put it to 1080p. Because, you know, it's going to be compressed and whatnot, but it does bode well for the future if, you know, because presumably they're only going to be able to squeeze more and more out of it. Look, you can even see like a tram system over there. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's get on with it. Sure is nice. Nice little sightseeing around landing. Landing town. Is there going to be a random goodies just placed around the shop? That's what I want to know. What the fuck? Oh, it's a, a uh, rocking horse. I wonder what that was for a second. Ooh, a creepy puppet thing. I don't like creepy puppets. You can keep that. Thank you. Alright. That doesn't seem to be items. To find. I think there are special pickups though that you can get trophies for. I probably should have looked at the trophy. Trophy this meat. 
Ergine? Er well, God knows what that name was. <laughs> Press R3 to view your current object uh, directive. Yeah. Not objective. Whatever. Same thing. Okay, so you can't go in these doors and stuff. That's a shame. I know this is going to be linear somewhat, but I hope you can go explore a little. Some flowers. Get some flowers for my missus. Right. You can hear someone about um, me eavesdropping on someone's conversation, listening to their sexy times. I presume this is a hotel. That's what you do in hotels, right? Right, well, we can't get in any of these doors. Right. Alright, go on then. God, I wish he could run at this point. It's kind of annoying that he's only going to walk. Alright, am I going to talk to this douche? This doucheberry? Is there no goodies? Come on. Morning. Right, see, there's something there. Right, what's this? Mysterious disappearances in Whitechapel. Wow, you could actually read that newspaper if you wanted to. I'm not going to be read not like that. I don't think. I'm not going to read that. That's quite quite long. Right, mysterious disappearances. I'm uh, open to reading some. Some out, some stuff out loud, but that was a bit much. It's quite, quite difficult to see. I wonder if they'll bring up normal text on the screen because they probably don't want to break immersion. Well, that guy don't want to talk to us. Ignorant much? Right, there's something else. I hope it's not all going to be that difficult to read. Right, that does look really good. That how they've done that. Wow, that looks that does look impressive. How that looks almost photorealistic, like pun not intended, or intended. Well, whatever strokes you fancy. All right. Oh God, it's all going to be very difficult to read. The Wind Windham family Windham. I can't read. Ye olde writing. Twentieth of July, eighteen eighty-six. W. Thompson Portrait Studios. Okay. Yeah, if uh, if I sound a bit louder when I'm reading that out, it's because I have to come look closer at the tally to uh, to see what it actually says. All right, you gonna talk to me, or you're just ignorant? Is that it? Is that all you got? Good day. Pa. Pa. Good day, sir. I'm gonna knock over your thing. Yeah, did I knock it off? Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. Ignorant bastard. Right, I'm out of here. That'll learn you. Pick that up, douche. <laughs> right, is this going to move on at some point? It's starting to be a, a walking simulator. <coughs> what are you doing? To oh. <laughs> Language. Language, Timothy. I should speak. I freaking swear like a... Like a sailor. Oh. Phonograph cylinder. Wax cylinders contains a record audio recorded audio message. Press options and select archive something. Didn't get a chance to read it. Right, options. Okay. Archive. Oh the armory. Nope, can't click that. It's peculiar. Restart from checkpoint. Quit to title archive. Let's do that. Ah. Okay, am I gonna read this? Probably. God, it's a bit small to see. I've not got the biggest TV in the world. All right, let's see if I move the mic a little bit. It befell in the days of the Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England. So obviously King Arthur times, basically. And so reigned. That there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him. Long time. <laughs> what is this? Is this ye olde speak? War against him long time. Did he love you long time? And the duke was called the Duke Tintagel? God, that's some 
freaking weird stuff here. And so, by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. Didn't we see? We saw something about that earlier, didn't we? So when the duke and his wife were come unto <laughs> the king, by means of great lords, they were accorded both the king, accorded both, full stop. The king liked and loved this lady well. God, I hope it's not all like this. This is so difficult to wrap your, wrap your tongue around. And he made them great cheer out of measure and desire to have Leanne, Leanne? Whatever, by her, by her, Ian. God, this is so, <laughs> this is like another language. But she was a passing good woman, right? A passing good time gal, was she? And would not assent upon the king. <laughs> this is a joke. Are they taking the piss here? This all sounds filthy. And then she told the duke, her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonoured. Wherefore, husband and I counsel you that were... This is fucking ridiculous. This is like... Um, oh, what's he called? Oh, it's totally slipped my mind. The little Star Wars dude, what's he called? I'm having a brain fart here. Anyway, this has broken me. Uh, that you were... You that we depart from hence suddenly, that we ride all night unto our own castle. I am none the wiser as what the fuck any of that meant, pretty much. Sir Thomas Malloy, Lee Mortem D. Arthur, 1470. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be reading all of these. That's crazy. Let's put the mic back. Yoda. That's what I, that's what I was thinking, Yoda. That's like if Yoda was from the 1470s. Right, what a fucking... What a mindfuck that, <laughs> that is. They better not all be like that. I mean, I might be a frickin' illiterate moron, but that's a bit of a push. Right, we're not going to check those doors again. Let's crack on. Yeah, so that was all ye olde times. I don't think that's how they spoke in this sort of time period, because it wasn't that, that long ago. Acknowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, the but yeah, that was all nonsense. I thought it was going to be an audio thing that I picked up. It was like a cylinder with wax scratchings on, so I thought it was going to be an audio thing. Not a freaking note. That would have been better if it had been audio like in Bioshock. Like the Voxophones. Like jump across. Alright, we're doing a bit of parkour, are we? Yeah, that. <laughs> a freaking message scrambled my brain. My head's not working properly now. Man, this does look good. i got to give it that. It does look good. All right, come on, walking simulator 2015. Let's get a wriggle on, shall we? Wow, you literally can't take your eyes off for a second. Galahad, the gray. Any word from Lafayette? Negative. Same here. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Hmm. Well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Listen to your you voice. So? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I can I'm tell he's not trustworthy. Yeah, that Lafayette's clearly. There's going to be something going on there with him. What's this? Oh, it's just a bowl. He seemed a bit iffy. He had a right wry look on his face. The Luminous City. Charles Dickens. The Ring of Nibelung. Jeez. I'm gonna, this is going to mess my head up. So what is this? Something about a play. Great. Why is this relevant? The reverse. Okay, check the reverse. Why is he checking random trash? This is odd. Okay. Very nice. Something about a play. Lovely. Weird. <laughs> they're, 
They do have... Why is it with games and looking through the trash? Bioshock did it. You can look through, like, every bin. And there was always shit in there, like money or fucking sandwiches or something. It's just ridiculous. In the real world, game developers, people reg rarely search through a bin. Maybe in, like, a detective thing, but not in, like... I don't know. A shooter. Like, can I inter interact with these people? Hey. Hey, copper. Everyone to remain inside their homes. So you've spoken with them? Not directly. Then how can you assure me they're safe? What if our daughter wanders outside? What are we to do then? Do you Weird. have any idea who my husband is? It's all right. <coughs> well, he didn't like that, pulling the do you know who I am card. He was not a fan. It's a shame I can't interact with him a little bit, have a little chat. All I can do is like eavesdrop, like this dodgy geese. Everybody's a freaking snooper in this, aren't they? Going through its trash and listening to people's conversations. Look at him with that shady fellow. Cracking one off while looking through the gap, whatever he's doing. Ooh. Them reflections, that's parody. I've seen plenty of people struggle with his condition. Hospital, this man needs medical attention. Unfortunately, ma'am, all medical personnel are currently unavailable. Weird. Okay, so this is clearly in some sort of lockdown situation. No, it's not. Don't seem to me. Can we peek through the window, maybe learn something? No. Just a pointless dead end. Oh, God, he walks slow. Come on, a little trot, a little jog. I mean, it is. You do want to take your time to look at the beautiful visuals, but seriously. Take that protocol and hey, what's up? Off. Please watch your <laughs> oh, so rude. They don't mind me being like right next to them, do they? Are you meant to just sort of snoop? Can't you should? I mean, I get that, that maybe they're going for ultimate realism, Galahad. but you do you can talk to people in real life. And do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Magic. Skill, love. I must admit, you do so, move fast for a man of your age. So quickly. He has to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. That took me like my lord. Twenty minutes this or more. Damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure Just to walk he? round the block. <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In hmm. his day. Was. You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Cheeky. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Grey. Let's move. They are impressive visuals. I gotta give it that. I gotta keep it up. 